Are you tired of your kids asking you this? Hey, Charlie, Dada. Well, if you're a real man, you probably got a whole bunch of these Milwaukee batteries laying around. We can make our kids' carts run off of these. They charge fast, we got plenty of power, and it's real cheap and easy. All the parts are less than the price of one of these batteries that's in this cart. Let me show you how to do it. You ready? Um, battery's dead, and it won't take a charge, so we're gonna get rid of it. You need a PWM motor controller. I'll put a link for this one. So a lot of guys will just take this adapter, which I'll tell you about in a second, they'll hook it directly. The problem is you've got unregulated 18 volts going to these things. They will run, and they will run very fast, but not for very long. These wires, And you can do this with some uh, Lyman's pliers if you don't have a stripper like that, but you know, everybody needs a stripper. And then we'll hook these up. So the stuff going to the cart is gonna be your motor outputs. So you've got a negative and a positive. Yes, baby. Why are you talking? I'm talking to the camera. I'm showing people how to do it so that their daddies can be cool like me. Should everybody have a cool daddy like me? Yeah. Yeah. What are you trying to do? I'm showing them how we hook up this battery to make your cart run again. You know, this yeah. cart you got from your aunt? Yeah, from my mommy? Yeah. Oh, my mommy? Yeah. All right. So then this has a uh, 30 amp fuse, which is fine for this wire size. You can always make them smaller if you want. You'll help me in a second. Can I have this one? Yep, here. So you hook that red up to positive, black up to negative on the input side. And by the way, I'm not an electrician. I'm not much of anything, so uh, do your own research. All right, so, yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so now we've got it hooked up, ready to go. As you can see, this just takes a few minutes. So I'm gonna hook this up to the battery, but before you let your kids go on it, um, I'll show you how to check for voltage to make sure you're not overpowering the motor. In here, you hook it up. This is one final use for this battery, and that's to jack this thing up to check the voltage. No. All right, so now the axe is off the ground. So. I know some of those D volts are 20 volt batteries. I know you guys that swing that way are a little, little weird, but don't send 20 volts to this motor. Buy a PWM regulator, link in the description below. All right, so the way this PWM works is it's always gonna have full voltage it's at idle, but when you start giving it throttle, the dynamic voltage is what it controls. So this battery's fully charged, it's got 20 volts in it. So I'm gonna put this cart in full forward. I'm gonna turn the dial all the way to zero. And when I give it gas, you should see it's got like three volts. The motor obviously won't run on that. So there's eight volts. You want somewhere around 12. Twelve six. All right, and just uh, to demonstrate, I'm gonna turn this thing up, hold the gas down and start turning this knob and you'll really hear a difference in the motor. So here's what I plan on running it at, it's 13 volts, 12.6 to 13. That's, that's full voltage, you can see that thing is screaming. And uh, this thing will probably do a wheelie, but it will destroy the motor in a rather short order. So recommend stay around 12 volts. Again, I don't know what the heck I'm doing here, but do your own research. Ready? Three, two, one. Watch out for the truth. Milwaukee.